Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the lab. Appreciate you guys for checking in. You seen the thumbnail hundred dollar easy service. Easy to execute, easy to do, and we're gonna get right to it. But first, please like and subscribe to my channel, Life Around Barbering. How barbering changed my life, made me a better person, a better man, a better husband, a better father. I really, really appreciate and blessed to be in this industry. And I like to just help others to expand their service game and their customer service game and their barber game. We're just getting started right now. With my fat masters. Yes, yes. On my magic clips. These are a secret gem. I think if you can find this blade. Please grab it. You will never regret it. You can always change the machine. But just keep that blade, man. It's very versatile. You see I'm using just to trim the beard with the grain just to smooth it out before we line it up my man was like yo I need to look young again I said I got you man let's go ahead and get this this color working but right now I'm prepping this beard before I even apply make sure we taper out this sideburns he like his skin Slight curve, all right, into the taper. One thing about being a barber, man, this thing is just, it never gets old, man. Just, just executing all day, conversing with my clients, conversing with potential clients, Conversing with out of towners one time, they just stop by just to check out the vibe. This thing never gets old being a barber, man. My bad, I had to pick up the phone real quick. Well, we back at it. Usually, if I ever pick up the phone, nine times out of ten, it's a client letting me know. They might be running late. And Stylecraft, man. These are my Stylecraft classic blade that I just caught not too long ago. With that one cutter. True hitters, man. With that Evo. Hell of a combination, man. If you ever just check out one of my videos about the trimmers that I like to use and why. Just look it up on the channel, man. You get all of my future videos, man, of how I modify my clippers, what I like, what I don't like. They cut smooth, man. They really, really catch the hair real nice. Strictly lining and trimming. Right there, I have to push the hair sideways because he has a slight cowlick on his beard that go towards his ear. And that's how, just by combing how the hair lays, gives that sharp line. Never fight the, how the hair lays, man. Combing how it lays with the grain. And that's how you get a great, great precision cut. A great sharp line on the beard. Straight sharp. We almost there. We almost there. Just making sure everything is ready before I start applying this color. Don't 
Those are many T outline and style craft again. Good for the mustache, detail areas up under the lip. Small and they hit. The reason I'm using the trimmers instead of a razor to really line them up because I don't want any irritation on the skin because this is a chemical service and you just want to be careful so you don't want to irritate the skin because most likely some of that chemical product will get on the skin so coming with a razor first can irritate that skin. Now, it's time to apply my color. Right here, this is my matrix. I'm using a 2N 10 volume. You can easily get this from Salon Centric, Cosmo Pro. We're going to do this a one to one ratio, half and half. One ounce, one ounce. We're going to make sure we mix it real good. So we have consistency throughout the color process. And this is a very, very thick cream based developer to make sure that it doesn't drip or run have runnings on my clients face or beard area a lot of times if you use like semi colors um, that nature of type of pipe type of color product it will slightly run drip and run down throughout the clients chin throughout the beard area onto your cape but since I decided to go with a thicker developer a cream based developer it just made this process much easier to apply um, I come to to use this technique through trial and error that I've learned from trying to find the right way I like to perform these services and how do I like to be more efficient time time wise The cleaner you work, the faster it is you'll be able to get throughout your day and keep a timely manner on your schedule. And this service you can do within an hour, a full color process and cut. If you know exactly what you're doing and plan it out accordingly. So I'd rather apply the color first, let it process while I give my client his haircut. I'm pretty much almost done. I like to apply the last bit of color to the mustache lip area because it's less hair and it also processes much quicker than the rest of his beard. The beard is much longer um, plus 
by the hair being further away from the actual skin area which is body heat it develops slower so the closer to the skin the closer to the body will process it, it speeds up the coloring process actually so just keep that in mind so if I was my suggestion color the longer area of the beard first let that process then when you get to your shorter area of the beard and that's where the last area you should apply and take your time. Finally, before I'm done, I like to have I have Q-tips. Q it's my secret way to how I clean up around the lip area, and also the lineup area on the beard to get the access color to make it sharp. Very easy. It actually picks up very clean off the skin, as you can see. And it's cost effective. Instead of me using a towel or neck strips, just grab you some Q-tips, man. And that's it. I think everything looks good right now, man. So we just let him process. And now we're going to get to work with these clippers. So I use the Octanes right here. I think I, I'm looking at them right now. I think I oiled them too much to where they are. They're kind of slippery, so I had to dust them. I have to really get the access off of them. There we go. There we go. So I like the octanes right here. Very quick and smooth. These are the one detachables. True one right here against the grain. Cuts very smooth quick efficient let me tell you something the most uniform cut is with the detachables All right, right here, I grab my Ergos, and I got the Babless Taper Blade on these with the stretch bracket. And these are a great fading combination. I swear, I over, how can I say, I underestimated, put it that way, I underestimated the performance of that combination. That's the Ergos with the Babless Taper blade, that black titanium taper blade, smooth. I think it fades better than the fusion blade, my honest opinion. Now, right now, what I'm doing is I'm applying the last little bit of color to the taper area of that beard because it will process a lot quicker because the hair is way shorter and I do not really want to stain the skin we're gonna leave it natural we're just trying to color the beard 
so this is because since it's not like a semi-color like a kiss or anything like that that we use for enhancement this is a strictly processing color for the beard we ain't trying to stain the skin this is a permanent long-term process for color the next time he will need a new color is for new growth making sure this is in focus gotta make sure it's in focus right now I got my mythics yes my mythics these are good for skin lines getting that skin line to nothing transition and I do have the stretch bracket on these for a true one so since I have the stretch bracket on these and I just use the octanes one detachable that means this is a true one also open so I don't need no half guard or anything to fade out this taper which allows me to be more efficient and faster just to taper this out so I'm using this to skin for skin line all the way out the taper and that quick and fast Clean it up real good with my JRLs, the best balding trimmers that I ever use. These things smooth, do not never dig in the pores, never clog or anything. My Panasonic Arc 5, the best electrical razor I ever used. Hands down, this thing is a beast. It collects stubbles, it go over smooth, no tugging, it never stalls out. Doesn't matter how coarse the hair is, this thing cuts like butter. Just making sure cleaning up he is at least 50 percent gray so sometimes my eyes can I wear glasses so I'm just making sure it looks even but why not just make sure if if right back with them evos Classic blade, man. Them things are things hit. They, they they winning. They winning in the lab, man. I grab these a lot. Kid friendly.
the Starcraft Mini Shaver. Man, this is a great, great tool, man. Just to get in little, little spots, little areas. Not for the bulk work, just for the little details. Just for the little details. I definitely recommend you that you have that in your arsenal. And while I'm while I'm lining him up, just a just a little advice, man. Don't be scared to expand yourself in this game, man. Learn as much as possible. Consistently grow. Consistently try to get better. Sometimes even your tools can make your workflow better. Regardless how nice you are or how nice you think you are. But just don't let let your arrogance get in the way of you growing as a barber, man. I remember when I was an instructor uh, teaching barbering classes. And, man... You had I had some nice students come in there that did some different techniques, and they were just there, you know. They've been cutting for a while, just in here trying to get legit, get certified, get their license, you know, trying to get prep themselves for that state board. And man, I learned a lot of things from the students because at the end of the day, they are the new trendsetters. They're the next generation leading the way in the barber industry so you gotta tap in man you gotta stay stay current don't never think you know everything and constantly learn and grow man and don't get stagnant all right all right so i just took him to the shampoo bowl, I already done washed it out. You know, I skipped that from showing that. I did not want to take my camera to the shampoo bowl. So, I rinsed them out. I would say it had been about a 30 minute process for that color to set in. And for me to rinse, strictly rinse. If anything else, if it was... Still some other thing, lightly, lightly shampoo it. It will follow up with a little conditioner. So right now, I'm putting hot lather all over. Warm, hot lather, man. Clients love the feel of it. They love the feel of it. And also, that hot lather, that hot lather cleans the skin and soothes the skin at the same time, man. All right. And this is where we start to really, really groom our client. This is it, man. This is what they're waiting for. This is their relaxation. Away from the phone. Away from the world. Oh, these right here. The, I think these are Treat uh, Razors. Treat Razor. T-W-E-E-T, -E -E man. Fire. Always sharp. I used every other brand. I tried these out. Love them. Besides the Feather Raiders, these number two. So I like to take my time. Have the hot. I keep that hot towel right there, man. And that towel has a little, little good scent. So he can smell and relax. Why I do my thing. Why I do my master grooming right here, man. This is the fun part, man. Just take your time and make everything sharp, clean, and execute. And never in a rush. And they really, really appreciate the details that we take and take our time to make sure they leave their best. Because at men, man, we tackle this world hard, man. Success doesn't come easy. And we out here grinding. As a barber, we grind hard all day, every day. 
going through 15 clients, 20 clients daily. Heavy consistency. They just there for their moment. And we got to make sure every client that come through that door and sit in that chair have their moment. They not worry about the client before them. They not worry about the client after them. They just ready for their service, their moment. And we have to make sure we execute that for them to return consistency. The question is, is this a hundred dollar service? Yes. Is the reason why one consistency? How many times have you serviced the same client and he got the same results? You pay for that. You pay for not having the worry to not knowing what you're going to get. Two, educating your client on how this can really, really benefit him and give him the confidence to know that you really understand your craft and you will educate on how this will benefit them. And three, the results. The results. This is why this is an easy $100 service. The detail, the understanding, the process, and let him know that you got him. Let him know that he doesn't have to worry because the results is going to be A1. And every time he walk through that door, this is going to be good as a government check, man. This thing would never bounce. This service would never bounce. That's why it's $100. And that just a, a metaphor. You could put any price tag on wherever you want your service to be. You decide what it's worth. And wherever you decide what that worth is... The person that respects your business, respects your professionalism, and respects how hard how hard how hard a worker you are, and appreciates how much you put into your craft, and appreciate how much you keep yourself informed, how much you educate yourself, how much you done level up as a professional. You never stay stagnant. Your clients see the growth in you, man. Your clients see your clientele growing. Your clients see how limit your availability is becoming. And they want to be a part of that. This Roy the Barber man, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. 
if you made it this far, you actually wanted to level up your service and see how easy this service can be. Please subscribe to the channel. The Lab Life Around Barbering. Like I tell everybody, man, all my clients say, man, why you became a barber? I say, barber chose me. Barber saved my life. I don't know where I would be if I wasn't a barber. That's why my life revolves around barbering. That's why I created the lab. And right now, I'm in my lab. Just like when you're at work, you in your lab. Doesn't matter what you do. Everybody profession, their life evolves around that. And my life evolves around being a barber. Best believe. My wife chose me because my ambition as a barber. My kids understand daddy work hard. This barbering, this barbering game is my purpose. To help others, to mentor others, and to help others grow. Because they damn sure help me grow. And let's create this lab culture. Please like and subscribe. TikTok IG Barber Consultant. Please follow. I'm on all platforms. I'm just trying to make this thing work. To reach as many barbers many future barbers or even people thinking about becoming a barber this is the best decision I ever did and if you decide to be one it will be for you too